Today I'm trying Ubuntu 25.10 for the first time as a Windows 11 user. I've heard a lot about Linux, but I want to see what it's really like to install it, set it up and actually use it. Will it feel familiar or completely different from Windows? I'm going to put it to the test with a few things every Windows user will notice. Some of it might even surprise you. So let's find out. And here I'm running Ubuntu 25.10 on the live ISO. And here we have the setup process. Choose your language here, I will select English, let's click on next. Accessibility in Ubuntu, customize Ubuntu to your needs before you set up. You can change them later in setting. Now, I think I'm just gonna click next here. Select your keyboard layout. Let's click here on English and then let's click on next. Connect to the internet. I will select here, use wired connection. Let's click on next. And what do you want to do with Ubuntu? Try Ubuntu or install it. I will select here, install. How would you like to install Ubuntu? Interactive installation for users who want to be guided step-by-step -step through the installation or automated with auto install file. I will go with interactive one. And what apps would you like to install to start with? Default selections, extended selection, an offline friendly selection of office tools, utilities, and web browser. I think I'm just gonna go with default selection here. So now let's click on next. Install recommended proprietary software. Install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi hardware. I will leave this one disabled, but I will enable here download and install support for additional media formats. So here we have MP3, MP4, MOV and similar. So let's click here on next. How do you want to install Ubuntu? Erase disk and install Ubuntu. Encryption and file system. I will select here no encryption. I will type in here under my name tech enthusiast. And now for the password, I will type in here one. And then to confirm it, I will also type in one. Require my password to log in. I will disable this and let's click here on next. Now here we have my time zone. I will go here and let's change the location here to London, for example. Select here London, England, United Kingdom. Now here we have review your choices pretty much now here i'm happy with my choices so right now let's click on install and here we are inside ubuntu 25.10 let's click here on next help improve ubuntu i will select here no don't share system data and now let's click on finish here and now we are inside Ubuntu 25.10. Now here I can see that the resolution of my monitor isn't correct. So if I right click here, I guess we can go to display settings. And now we have here resolution set to this much, but we have to change it here to 1920 by 1080. And then a refresh rate it's set to 60 here. So if I click on apply, we have much better resolution right here. And now here we are on the desktop. Now the immediate change from Windows is of course that we have here the icons on the left side and there on the bottom is pretty much nothing. So one thing which I would like to see now if we are able to change this. So maybe if I right click here on this taskbar, nothing actually happens. So now if I go here, we have a new desktop. I would like to go here to the settings. So maybe if I go here, we can click here on this settings button. And here inside the settings, we have the appearance option, but I don't see any of the options here to change here this taskbar position. But if we go here to the Ubuntu desktop here, we have this dock option. So we can enable auto hide the Dock. So if I enable this, we have still this uh, taskbar on the left. But if I disable this, we have here this really nice dock, as you can see. And now we can also change the icon size. For example, we can go upwards to 64 and position the screen. This is the option I was actually looking for. We can put it to the bottom and here we have it. Now, one thing which I would like to try here is if we use panel mode here, we also can move the taskbar here at the bottom. Now, this is super cool that we can actually move here this taskbar to the bottom. And I also do prefer here this dock mode. So if I disable panel mode, we have this really cool dock at the bottom. Now here on top, we also have the desktop icons and we can also change the size of them. So let's put them to the small. And now if we go here to the appearance, we can also change here the backgrounds. Now we can also change here to dark mode. And this is how the dark mode looks like. Now one thing which I also see here is this option configure dog behavior. And I think we can also remove here the trash bin icon from the dock. Let's right now also try to add some of the system applications. So for example, Firefox here onto the desktop as 
as a shortcut. And now to add the icons to the desktop of Ubuntu, let's go here to the Firefox and here I search for how to add desktop icons on Ubuntu 25. And here we have this first option. I will just copy this. Let's go here to this file explorer or files. And then here we will have to go to this folder. And now let's also open here another new window where I will have to go here to the desktop folder. So here we have the desktop folder. Let's go to all windows here. Let's click on the applications. And now here let's search for example for the calculator. And here we have it. Now if I right click on it, we can click on copy and paste it inside. And here we have the genome calculator. And now here once I have the icon, let's try to open it. This desktop file has incorrect permissions. Right click to add it. Properties then enable option allow executing file as a program. So let's go here, right click properties. Then we have the permission executable as a program. And now if I double left click on it, and now we have another error, untrusted desktop file. This dot desktop file is not trusted. It cannot be launched. To enable launching, right click, then enable allow launching. So let's right click on it here. And then we have allow launching option. And now we have here the calculator shortcut. Now, if I double left click on it, it should open here the calculator program. And here it is. This is pretty much way easier to do on Windows as well as on Zorin OS and it's similarly painful to Fedora. So unfortunately we are still not able to pretty much go here to this application launcher and add here the application from here. This is only available to Zorin OS as far as I tested. And now here on top we also have here this system tray. Now here we have the screenshot settings, lock screen, and we have the power mode similar to the Zorin OS, dark style and do not disturb. And now let's also see how the lock screen actually looks like. If I go here, we have the lock screen of Ubuntu. And then here, if I type in my password. Now, one thing which I would like to also try here is to change the cursor style as well here on Ubuntu 25.10. And now if I go here to the settings, we can go here under the appearance, but there are no settings settings for changing the cursor. So here maybe under the Ubuntu desktop, we have position on screen, we have dock, and then we have en enhanced tiling. If I go here under the apps, notifications, well-being, mouse and touchpad, maybe right here, mouse acceleration, we can pretty much turn off. And then we have here test settings. So pretty much the same as on Fedora, keyboard, printers, system, privacy and security, but I don't see any option here to change the cursor style. So let's go to the Firefox browser and here I will search for how to change the cursor on Ubuntu 25. And then here we have Ubuntu Community Hub using a cursor theme other than Yaro. Now here, this is support, not a request for help. I found that if you have Ubuntu 2504 and use genome tweaks to change the cursor theme from Yaro to one of the others that are provided, you will find none of them except Yaro work when selected. So we can go here. Let's try to go to genome tweaks, Ubuntu. And here I will just have to copy this command. Let's go here to the terminal. Let's Let's paste this inside. Let's click on enter. Let's click on one for the password. Let's click on Y and currently it's working and it should right now be installed. So if I go here to all apps, we have the tweaks right here. And then here, if we go under the appearance, we have the styles currently it's set to Yaru. So pretty much with this tweaks, you can change here the cursor. As you can see here is the new cursor and it looks a bit gray and it has this new animation with with this uh, hand pointing. So yeah, this is pretty much how to install cursors on Ubuntu. Now the last thing which I would like to try here is to install a third party application using here this app center. And also if the Ubuntu has this snapping of the edges, just like Windows does. So if I snap the window here on the right, we have a new suggestion here. It does look kind of good. However, the Windows one does look a bit better. And it also has the suggestion here on top, just like Windows 11 and also Zorin OS. And it works quite well here on Ubuntu. But now let's also try to install some of the third party softwares. For example, here for the productivity, let's try to install another browser, for example, Brave browser. So if I click here on install, let's authenticate the user, wait for a few seconds. 
and here we have Brave installed. Let's click on open and here it's already running. Now pretty much this is Ubuntu 25.10. I think it works surprisingly well and customization is even more than on Windows by default without installing any third party applications. Remember Windows 11 has Windhawk which offers a ton of the customization options for Windows 11 but Ubuntu here also has a lot of the customizations built in. Now Ubuntu I think it's quite nice distro. However, I wouldn't, for example, choose it, for example, instead of Fedora or even Zorin OS. Both of those distros, I think, are better looking, but Zorin OS is even more friendlier to Windows 11 users because it has really similar UI and everything. Now, would I switch here from Ubuntu to Windows 11? To be honest, I wouldn't because Linux in general does not support all of the software I use. For example, here, this Affinity program for photo editing, which I use for thumbnails isn't natively supported for Linux in general. So this is why I wouldn't switch from Windows 11, but as an alternative, I think Ubuntu is a good one. Now, if you want to try it out, I will put a link for it in the video description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next one.